No, this, this is the second fucking episode in a row I did that because I had the this movie old vintage movie screen thing going and it went twice because it was on fucking loop and I'm like what the fuck and I did it again so I just completely restart which brings me here to this moment it's me back high as fuck your bestie who's a bestie Vivian Frost with another episode of Top Tin Vestite festively themed I got like so many green shirts like believe me I got like four of them but the goddamn background so whenever I want to wear a green shirt it's going to be me in my kitchen again so I just love these fucking backgrounds so I'll figure something out anyway talking about Christmas television this episode my top 10 favorite Christmas television thingies uh, this ranges from television specials to TV movies to uh episodes of TV shows involving Christmas. So that's it in a nutshell. So I know I hate it when people talk too much at the beginning of a fucking video. So as soon as I find my list and open it, there we go. Number 10, the very first episode of Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> Kitties. It's, I know I look exactly like the fucking Crypt Keeper. Ha ha ha. Wah, wah. Uh, but this is now this is actually like a almost like a redo of the well, the first segment from the tales from the crypt movie from the 70s with joan collins uh so this episode is basically that but instead of joan collins you got mary ellen trainer rest in peace uh one of those iconic 80s like b-level actresses in terms of like never the lead always the mom or the secretary or the psychiatrist or that kind of that stuff. But she was great. She was also like married to a producer or something. So, you know. But lovely lady. Gone far too soon. But again, the first episode of Tales from the Crypt. Probably like all through the house or some shit like that. Uh, fucking great. And a good Christmas horror. You know, but you gotta balance the yin and the yang. The light side of the force and the dark side of the force. There has to be balance. So there. So to counteract the dark, darker side with Tales from the Crypt. I'm gonna go with the Christmas ep one of the Christmas episodes of Cheers. I think it's just called Christmas Cheers. I think it's like the episode name. Uh, again, I'm high as fucking drunk when I'm doing this. So if you want the facts, you know, I, I leave it open to interpretation. You know, if you want to Google it, you can find the exact episode. Go to a torrent site and download it. And yeah, or I know I didn't say any of that. I actually said Netflix. I think it, Cheers is still on Netflix. So you can find the Christmas episode. Watch it there. Um, but anyway. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by the live chat because I am doing this again for the second time on two live streams at once, YouTube and Twitch. So the interface is a little different. So when I'm looking down, I'm just checking to make sure everything's fucking working or to change the goddamn slide to the next one, which would be the first Christmas episode that The Simpsons did. Simpsons uh, Roasting on an Open Fire or something like that was the name of the episode. Um, but it's if you're a dog person like me, because fuck cats. Um, great heartwarming episode, but also that traditional early Simpsons humor. That it's not the same as modern Simpsons or Simpsons or late 90s Simpsons uh, episode humor. So, yeah, the Simpsons' first Christmas episode, I think it's in their first season, is fucking great. As it, now talking about how fucking great and cool and heartwarming that episode is, this one completely shatters your goddamn soul. Uh, but it's the Black Mirror White Christmas episode uh, with uh, John Hamm. I can't read the other names on the fucking poster. Ah, leaning too close and the background just glitches. Anyway, nevertheless, fucking great episode. Typical, you know, normal Black Mirror, fucked up ending, but a really fucked up ending. And it's it's Christmas themed, so it fits because you gotta have your good, you gotta have your happy Christmas along with your depressing Christmas. You have to have that for the holidays. You can't go all elf, 20, elf and a Christmas story, elf and a Christmas story, elf and a Christmas story, or you can't just go Krampus, Black Christmas, every fucking version of Black Christmas, Christmas Evil, all those kind of shit, Santa Slay, all the ones I did last episode. You know, you gotta have the balance. Like, oh, we watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I'm watching the original Black Christmas now. Or I'm watching, you know, the Cheers episode, I just mentioned or the Simpsons episode because it was only a half hour long as opposed to like the hour and 15 minutes of this whopper. Something like that. Don't quote me on the exact length. Uh, 
that just shatters your goddamn soul, like I said earlier. So, yeah, that's on here. Uh, so that's number six. It's Always Sunny's Christmas episode. A very sunny Christmas. Classically genius. And it's Christmas. You know, it's the, the, it's a normal... You know, what I just said about Sunny is a normal thing for this show because it's still fucking awesome. Still fucking, you know, goes places. You're watching the show and it just goes somewhere where, like, you never thought it would go. Or, yeah, they did that kind of, like, mentality. And you just love these fucking idiots so much. These horrible people. You just love them. And it's great. Um, oh, hey, Claw, I see that. I'm not having the Twitch chat on since I'm live streaming it. Um, yeah, so don't forget, Tuesdays and Fridays, live stream. Uh, for now, it will be on Restream with Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. So either site you want to have me on your history uh, is where I'll be. You know, that's where I'm reacting to live when I'm doing this. i got to figure out how to get the Restream. Once I get the Restream... Um, bot, whatever, whatever these fucking thing, window, I don't know what they're fucking called, going, then I'll have it back on the live stream, on the episodes too. But anyway, Very Sunny Christmas is a very fucking funny Christmas as well. So number five, Festivus, because you can't have Christmas without Festivus. You gotta, you know, rest in peace, Jerry, not Seinfeld, Stiller. Um... And that dude, too. That dude from the faculty, the creepy teacher. I don't know if he's dead. He might be. But if so, rest in peace. If not, hang in there, buddy. Um, but yeah, Festivus for the rest of us. All the classic Seinfeld. And it's Christmas in Seinfeld. So that's all you really need. And it's still so fucking funny. Uh, and well deserve it of a place on my list. Number four. We got a red sleigh down. We got a red sleigh down. South Park. Now, they have a ton of Christmas episodes. Like, I can almost, probably, almost, I think there might be enough to do a top 10 best site list of South Park Christmas episodes, which if I get desperate for a Christmas topic before the end of the year, you might see that one. Um, but anyway, Red Sleigh Down is by far my favorite. Uh, Santa gets shot down over Bosnia, I think, somewhere, you know, some terrorist country we were at war with at the time, or still are, I'm pretty fucking sure. Uh, or maybe we stopped, then we did it again, I don't fucking know. Um, because we're with so many countries. Uh, and Jesus himself comes down in a parody of Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down. A bit of an anchor there, love. Um, yeah, but super fucking funny. Just into, and you know, I say typical, you know, typical Seinfeld Christmas. Yeah, typical South Park Christmas. Just a, I don't think Mr. Hanky doesn't make, doesn't have an appearance in this one at all. I don't remember. Maybe he is. Uh, well that's, well, that's the thing, Claw. Like, you know, every show that you watch, 99% of them have a Christmas episode, but nobody watches 100% of all shows. So these are only the Christmas episodes that I've seen that I like. You know, so I know, like, Power Rangers, you know, every show has them. X-Men even has one. We can call it kind of Christmas. They're in the mountains. With, it was the Nightcrawler episode where Wolverine finds Jesus. Good episode. Uh, and Rogue has a hot little ski suit. But anyway, fuck, I lost my place on the countdown number. That's number four. Number three, the classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The original R&B, whatever the, I can't forget the production company. You know, they did this. They did Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Some other shit. Santa Claus. Like, you, know, you know what I'm fucking talking about with this fucking style. It's, you know, the style that Elf, Elf ripped off and like almost got sued about. Because I know that because of that Netflix show. Uh, the holiday movies that made us this year. Um, did a episode on Elf and the lawyers, you know, spoiler alert, were just like, you gotta, you gotta change this character, et cetera, et cetera. Really interesting. I'm not sure why it just unfocuses so much, like it's not. Anyway, Rudolph the Nose Reindeer, still fucking great, timeless classic. Yukon Cornelius is a fucking badass. And the other Misfit Toys, is where I would like to have my forever home. Because uh, that's the only place that makes sense to live right now. Uh, number two, The Office. Uh, this is the season seven one, I think. It's the one with the snowball fight with Jim and Dwight. I think it's a two episode. But the end of the episode is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that it's 
Christmas obviously gets it super high up on this list, but The Office also has a ton of fucking great Christmas episodes. You know, any of them could make this list, could even do a top 10 one on that. But this particular one with the snowball fight with Jim and Dwight, again, I think it's season seven, I think. Um, that's the one. This is the best. Absolutely. The last scene, I'm telling you, it's fucking genius cinema. Um, but on television, so yeah. And my pick for the best, my most favorite holiday special for Christmas is with Mr. Bean. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. Now this is free on YouTube, so you can finish this lovely, ep lovely episode. Then you can, you know, like, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a nice little constructive criticism comment on the bottom. Or look me up on my other social media. Because I know that's where a lot of you like to reach me. Because you don't want this showing up in your YouTube history. Cool bros. No problem. Um, I know who you are. Anyway. Mr. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. I didn't... The first time I saw this was just a few years ago. When it was on YouTube. is where I first saw it. Or maybe I caught some of it on PBS or something. I don't fucking know. Um, but I always remembered the him playing with the nativity scene, which is still one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. Even more funny than the end of The Office. And everything I just said earlier about The Office. This is the funniest fucking Christmas thing, themed thing that's ever existed, in my opinion. It's short, it's sweet, it's nonstop fucking funny. And geniusly funny. So if you haven't seen Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean, finish this one. We're wrapping up right now. You'll probably see the like and subs I mean the subscribe right here. And this is what YouTube thinks you should be watching right now, people. Give it a go, loves. And then, you know, like down here and comment down here and watch another one of my fucked up videos if you haven't already seen. If you have otherwise, go watch Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean, which you can watch right now on the tube view. You know what I fucking mean. Anyway, that does it for this episode because I'm getting really fucking loose because I'm high as fuck. I'm sure you couldn't tell. My top 10 best I'd list for top Christmas tech television so i'll be back let's see today's tuesday so i won't see you next tuesday i'll see you next friday or see you this friday is what i should say that would make a lot more goddamn sense so i will need a sex time and until then stay frosty